What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, then uh, well, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna talk about how many times should you train in judo uh, per week if you're an older guy starting out or if you're just simply older. The short answer, two, two times a week. That's as much as you should train. I've been training, I started judo at the age of 36. I'm 41 now. And for the longest time, guys, uh, I've been training twice a week and that was enough. Mondays was technique and sparring. And then Wednesdays was pure competition mode. And the thing is, you need time to recover because judo is hard. Like you fall a lot, there's a lot of gripping, you know, it's very dynamic, you know? So, I mean, there's a lot of impact going on there. And so you do need, you need time to recover. And then the rest of the time, do something else, <clears throat> weightlifting, or, or you could do judo, but it's gonna have to be some newaza or some kind of technical class where you're just focusing on technique. Cause you gotta, you gotta give your body time to rest. I would say if you're an older guy, start off slow, twice a week is more than sufficient as you progress and depending on how many uh, classes your club actually offers you because every club is different, right? Some clubs might not have um, three times a week or four times a week, you know, maybe it's just two times a week. It depends if it's private or, or if it's in uh, some kind of community center, uh, you know, so that plays a, a part of it too. But let's say uh, your club does have three classes a week or four classes a week. I suggest starting with two, two hard sessions is more than enough then the rest of the week while well, you lift weights. I think it's very important to lift weights to maintain muscle mass and work on your mobility at the same time. Uh, two, two separate things there. Having muscle is gonna help. That way you avoid injury. That way when you train, like, you know, you're, you're, you're not as fragile, you're stronger, you're able to, to absorb the impact. I'm gonna make another video, guys, on uh, how to survive judo once you're, uh, once you're past 40. Remember, guys, it's two times a week Two hard sessions a week of judo, that's enough. If you add any other sessions, it has to be light. You know, maybe you could mix in some BJJ there if there's BJJ at your school or if you go to a BJJ club, uh, you know, outside of your judo practice. Or what you could do is if your judo club offers a lot of classes, then what you could do is two hard sessions and then the other two, it's, you know, newaza or maybe some kind of uh, class where they work on katas and stuff like that. That way you're always involved in the sport and you, you learn at an accelerated rate, but you also give your time, uh, you give time to your body to actually recover. Because if you don't recover, it's, it's gonna pile up, you're gonna get injured, and then you're gonna force to quit because you're just too busted up, or you're just going to um, turn it off by the, by the whole sport, right? Because it's such a dangerous sport for your uh, shoulders and for your knees. That's what I recommend, guys. So I'll make other videos and uh, you know explain to you guys what else you can do. But uh, that's it for, for, for this one, guys. So, thanks. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.